Hey, free to play game, welcome back to another video. So today I'm gonna to talk a little bit more about accuracy and resistance. And I'm sorry this video is gonna be super boring because there is gonna be no gameplay footage. It's just gonna be me reading off like whatever that dribble, my guy dribble, whatever that he has done here, and probably just giving like some of my own opinions and some of my own examples as well. And I'm gonna to try to make this as quick as possible, right? Okay, so accuracy information. So you can find all these in the main dislike server. So I'm gonna put a link down in the descriptions below. You can go ahead and check it out. And you can find it over here at frequently asked questions resources and then select accuracy and there is also resistance as well right so what is accuracy accuracy is an abbreviation for the main attribute accuracy that is required to counteract resist when lending a debuff that does not have a silver border so this is also extremely important right there is something called a silver border there's something called a gold border so so there are three kinds of debuffs right there is one with no border there is one with a silver border and there is one with a gold border so basically gold borders can never be removed and secondly for silver border this is slightly a little bit more interesting so the thing about silver border buffs or debuffs right okay let's talk about buffs so silver border buffs they cannot be stolen they are unique to the espers that have them so for example you cannot steal lin Xiao's third skill buff right however you can still strip the silver buff with a stripper so that's one way you can get rid of silver buffs but i know i'm talking about buffs over here but it, that's kind of what it means right okay so debuff calculation the debuff application calculation is split into four parts okay so this is the reason why i I stayed away from this video until now which have to be checked in the specific order below for a debuff to apply so first there is the trigger chance check or what i would like to call proc chance okay so sometimes you, you hear me say proc a lot and yeah this is what it means first the ability's chance to apply a debuff stated on the ability is calculated and rolled to see if the calculation will continue so for example for infernal types like joza a1 has a 60% chance of inflicting defense down for 2 turns. Yep, this is true. Or another example is Jeanne, right? Her first skill has 3 chances to prong a stun with a 25% chance on each hit. So Esper Sunrise can increase their trigger chance of applying a debuff by leveling up their ability with a Blimon. Yep, that is correct. And if an ability does not state a trigger chance, it is naturally assumed to be 100%. This is also true as well, so do take note of this. And if this check succeeds, the calculation moves on to the next check. So if this check fails, the debuff is not applied. So basically, um, your first wall of defense is going to be your proc chance, right? So if like, let's say you're talking about Joza, you have a 60% chance to move on to the next check and 40% chance to just uh, stop at the first check, right? So let's say you lucked out and you have the 60% proc done, then here comes the mischance check, okay? So mischance is uh, element related, okay? So the attack is then checked to see if it would miss this can be caused by either elemental disadvantage. So for example, if you are a, a wind type trying to land a debuff on a flow type, then I think you have like a 50% chance to miss. Oh yeah, it's written here. You have a 50% chance to miss. And also there is the miss rate up debuff as well. Like, like for example, Tricky, he has this as well. So this is how you can like, you know, give your enemies a miss chance up, even though, you know, there may not be any elemental disadvantage. So that's when, you know, you see like a, a word miss appearing on top of like your target. So usually that's because of elemental disadvantage. So if this check succeeds and an attack does not miss the calculation moves on to the next check so yeah basically just whatever that was mentioned before so let's say you did not miss right like let's say you are a, a wind type trying to debuff a flow type and you did not miss so that's another 50 percent chance that you successfully managed to avoid then we will move on to the resist and accuracy check so next the resist of the defending esper is compared against the esper applying the debuffs accuracy or rather the accuracy of the esper applying the debuff becoming the final chance to apply that debuff so if the defending Esper's resist goes down below 20%, and I'll explain this in just a bit, resist that defaults back to 20% at the end of the calculation. This is like a, a game mechanic, okay? So it, it kind of like it bounces back to 20%, and of course this will be clear in just a moment. So this means that all non-silver border debuffs have a base 20% chance to not apply. So literally all of your debuffs, right, there is always going to be at least a 20% chance that your debuff will not land based on the resist and accuracy check. So the calculation is as follows, right? So resist minus accuracy equals to the chance to resist debuff or negative effect. Uh, similarly, it goes the other way around as well. So accuracy minus resist equals to the chance to land a debuff. So if one Esper has like 100% resistance and another Esper has uh, like 50% accuracy, there's going to be a 50% chance that the former Esper is going to resist that debuff. However, if your resistance right is baseline, right, let's say let's say 20 or maybe 30, okay, let's say, let's say 20 first, and the opponent's accuracy is 100, right? So 20 minus 100, that is negative 80, and then it bounces back to 20 again over here. So if this check succeeds, then the calculation moves on to the final check, and this is the simple one, right? This is immunity buff check. So lastly, if an immunity buff is present on a defending Esper, 
most debuffs and negative effects will not apply except for HP ceiling reduction, right? I talk about this a lot. Buff steal, yes, ability cooldown increase, and dispel. Uh, this one may not necessarily be true because they have recently fixed Bonnie, right? So Bonnie can no longer uh, inflict ability cooldown increase against immune enemies. So dribble if you're watching my video, which you're probably not. Do take note that this is not always true. This is still true for Pritzker, by the way. Pritzker still has this. So if this check succeeds, then the debuff finally applies to the defending Esper. And if this check fails, the debuff is not applied. So a lot of you guys are wondering, why is my accuracy so high, but yet, like, you know, applying debuffs seem impossible. This is exactly the reason why. So the main issue here is probably going to be, like, the, the trigger chance check, right? The proc chance. Uh, and then there is also the miss chance. Because sometimes you inadvertently have elemental disadvantage and you did not realize it and you're trying to debuff someone else that you're weakly attuned to and obviously there is always going to be resist and accuracy check. So there are some bosses in this game that are extremely difficult to debuff and this is the same reason why. They probably have like a ton of resist. Okay, so moving on to like the more disgusting stuff, right? So what is the soft and hard cap of accuracy? So based on this, right, you can really give me the answer. So the maximum amount of accuracy you can have on an Esper well, this is the hard cap, right? That is 100%. You cannot go above 100%. This makes sense. But the optimal amount of accuracy that you can have, or the soft cap, so a soft cap is like, you can actually go beyond that, but it's like a waste. That would be 80%. So like I said before, so let's say the enemy has 20% resist and you have 80% accuracy. So 20 minus 80, that would be negative something, right? But it bounces back to 20%. But what if the enemy has 100% resist, right? So if the enemy has 100% resist and you have 80 accuracy, that also subtracts to 20, which is the same number over here. So what this means is if you have 80% accuracy, you are always going to land debuffs with a 20% chance to be resisted. So that's what the soft cap means over here. So how do I increase accuracy? Yeah, there are multiple ways you can increase accuracy, both in and out of battle. You can increase accuracy with an Asper's Captain ability, right? So for example, Tricky here, yeah, or Chloe for example. You can also increase accuracy within phases of an Asper's Ascension. So for example, a Selene, yeah, phase 5, she gains accuracy. I did not know that. Who cares, right? You can also find accuracy in secondary stats on relics or as the main stat on a Una for relic. This is something that I would not recommend at all because of how easy it is to hit the soft cap here, right? This 80%, it's super easy to hit it without needing a Una for slot. You can also use the relic set Apollo's Bow, which when equipped as a full set, increases accuracy by 25%. And what you notice after all this is that there are no buffs in this game that increases your accuracy. And finally, what is affected by accuracy? So any debuff or negative effects that require accuracy are listed below. You can just pause the video to take a look at whatever that you need to see. And actually, this one particular skill here really captures my attention. So the thing about Pandora's Box, right? For you to trigger, that requires accuracy. But for you to debuff the enemies with Pandora's Box, that does not actually require accuracy. That's quite interesting. So you're always going to deal damage on Anesidora's third skill, but you may not stun the enemy when using this skill. And finally, what is not affected by accuracy? So any debuffs that have a silver border or negative effects that do not act require accuracy are listed below. Okay, so I think debuffs work a little bit different to buffs when I talk about silver borders. So I guess this is some clarification over here. So Devour, right, Liao, he does not require accuracy. That's pretty interesting. And Falcon, he does not require accuracy as well. So he can always land his debuff. That's really good. And Link, okay, so this is always going to deploy. Nether Bloom as well. And Pandora's Box, yeah, so this is what I was talking about earlier. And finally, Nico Curse. Alright, so that's it for accuracy. I hope this was informative for you. I hope this clarified all the questions that you have about accuracy. And it kind of encompasses resistance in my opinion because it is it's just a mirror image of resistance. So hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, don't forget to leave a thumbs up. It really helps the channel. And subscribe for more dislike content. Now this has been Daddy Free to Play. And as always, I will see you in the next video.